Okay. Fantastic. There we go. Right. That'll do. What was that? We'd better hack off these nails. Respray it, apply some bog, touch up the welds, and we'll be fine. It's got plenty of life in it. Hey there, fellas. We're coming at you with another nutty episode. We've already featured a few videos about this car on our main channel. If I'm being honest, the engine has to be silenced. We've received a ton of requests from people who want us to pour a bit of toothpaste into the motor. Or maybe some grinding powder, polish. It'd be interesting to find out what that'll do to a motor. As for today, we'll be doing this with maximum haste. Now this here valve grinding paste should help us get there. But we'll save it for the very end of the video. Meanwhile, we're gonna kick this off with some toothpaste and polish. Right, enough talk. Let's go ahead and pour it in and listen for any knocking. Let's do this. So we've decided to start with the toothpaste. As requested by our viewers. What do we got? Oak bark? Ginseng? Calcium? Yeah, let's give the internals a good clean. Now we go ahead and put this stuff in and proceed to starting the car. Not bad. The abrasive particle is in the toothpaste itself won't be stopped by the oil filter. So it should contaminate the oil and find its way around the inner workings of the motor. There we go. That'll do. Let's fire up the engine and see what happens. It works. What was that? It was like, fuck you guys. What, that's it? What happens when you put toothpaste into an engine? Originally uploaded in November of 2018. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so here's the situation. Well, things took a rather interesting turn. So the crankshaft pulley, which is located next to the crank position sensor, it was like, I'm sick of you people. And after that, it decided to bounce. You guys saw what happened. Now we need to head back to home base, weld it back on. Yes, it was welded on. And that wasn't even us. We bought the car that way. But we'll weld it on firmly so that it stays in place. We need to kill this motor. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so what are we looking at? There was nothing to even screw it onto. So we had to weld it in place. We didn't really have any other options. And it wasn't easy to stick it on there evenly. It wobbled, the engine refused to work properly, since the sensor was sort of confused. But we got that sorted. Now we just fire it back up. The toothpaste. Yeah, let's see if anything happens. Yes, I'm fully aware that the ideal scenario would be to fire it up and go drive around somewhere. But as you might imagine, you can't really drive a car like this. So instead, let's fire it up and wait. That'll do. Twenty minutes later. Things appear to be getting worse by the minute. It doesn't want to rev up. 
It's backfiring. Yeah, toothpaste isn't gonna put this motor down that easily. Here's what we'll do. I'll take this thing right here, which is some polish, number one, with abrasive particles. Right, so... We might as well have added a bit of oil, but we can also try it as is. Fantastic! Okay, we've put some paste inside. Now all we have to do is wait and see where... what's gonna happen. So far I can't even hear any funny noises. No abnormalities whatsoever, which is actually somewhat surprising. But we're not in any hurry, so let's continue waiting. Thirty minutes later. So right off the bat, what can I tell you in terms of whether it's making any new noises? You can clearly hear the camshaft, you might have already noticed. The cam and the valves are making a clunking noise. Which is a clear indication that the motor is wearing down. However... It is noticeably louder. You can clearly hear that something's wrong. Meanwhile, we are running out of patience. So I'm gonna pop the oil filler cap. Take that valve grinding paste. It's basically the same thing as toothpaste. It's just that the particles are much bigger. Now I carefully pour it in there. Okay, I've almost poured an entire bottle in there. Great. You still have a bit left at the bottom, but I guess... You could mix it with a bit of oil. And squeeze the rest in there as well. Yeah, I think I should do just that. Awesome, just when things were getting interesting. There we are. Wait, I should empty this one first. That's much better. Start the car? Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Go for it. We're looking good, fellas. The motor is working. We're doing fine. But like I told you, the valves are making a noise. Which tells us that the motor is starting to wear down. No worries. We'll just wait and see what happens next. Twenty minutes later... An idea occurred to us to use some of this to silence the motor a bit quicker. I take it it's going to fly right back out. You can easily pour it in while the engine's not running. Yeah, kill it already! You lot engine murderer! Why do you hate them so much? These are some pretty decent engines. <laughs> Fast forward half a day. You think it'll die? No? The fact that it's not gonna die... It's already died like 15 times, man. It's just that we keep bringing it back from the dead. It's like a common folk pastime resurrecting these Lotto 110s. That's for sure. We'd better hack off these nails. 
respray it, apply some bog, touch up the welds, and we'll be fine. It's got plenty of life in it. And after 107 attempts, we were finally able to start it. Oh yeah, for sure. See that? I just did that and it was over. This thing is scared. Stop seizing up already. It is making a serious racket. Right, fellas, so yesterday we weren't able to finish this motor off. They never cease to amaze, man. Anyway, so it's sat for the night, it's nice and cool. I take it all of the abrasive stuff has also made it to the bottom, down into the oil sump. Though there has to be a bit left in the galleries. So we're about to start it. And while the engine is cool, we're gonna try to rev it up, right to the limiter. So yeah, hopefully that works. Then we see what happens. Alright, let's do this. What just happened? Looks like we're done here. Oh wow, can you get a bucket for me? We have an oil leak. The tub's over there. Okay, I've got it down there. I don't understand, what's the pulley doing over here? Wait a minute. What just happened? We need some light. The crank popped out. Oh wait, no, I actually think the welds have cracked. The gears are dislodged. Yep. Holy cow, man. Hang on, dude. Give it some. Enough? We're done. What's going on down there? Just the crank is rotating. See that? So here's what's up. The pulley itself stayed attached to the gear and they both broke off from the crankshaft. And putting all of this back together it is going to be a problem. I don't think it'll be necessary even. I take it the head is now seriously worn out from the camshaft rotating. The abrasive material found its way between the steel and aluminum bits. Well, as I'd imagine anyway. And once we increased the load, that might have caused the failure. I don't have any other ideas, to be honest. That's it, fellas. No broken rods, no holes in the engine block or anything. However, the motor... It's never gonna start again, ever. And that's all I have for you, fellas. The fact of the matter is that once you've got abrasive particles in your oil, your engine isn't gonna make it through alive. You guys go ahead and share your comments and suggestions. Don't forget that we have an Instagram account and a second channel. Give us a thumbs up. All right, catch you later.